Burned. A Miraculous Ladybug Fan Fiction, Part 28. Today's theme is Stay. If you have not heard the previous 27 parts of this story, you can find a link to them in the description box below. Now then, let's get burned. Adrian woke up when something hit his face. A fan? An Akuma? Someone attacked him. He tried to reach up, but something compromised his hand. D don't freak out! Ladybug. What's going on? He asked, slightly perplexed, but not as worried as he should be. You're miraculous. I found it on the ship's balcony, and I figured you'd want it back. But, of course, I didn't want to see your face, so I threw a towel on you before I threw back the curtain and grabbed your hand to put on your ring because I didn't want to see your face. Wow. I'm flattered. Oh, don't be cute. He could hear the scowl in her voice. Thanks, LB. It means a lot. She squeezed his hand. You do the same for me. Yeah, I would. Hey, does this mean I can transform again? Not without giving me cheese. Plaque. Plaque was back. Hey, little buddy, Adrian said, relieved to hear the Kwame's voice. Cheese, he replied. Sorry, my dude. I'm a bit tired. You'll have to fend for yourself, okay? He could hear grumbling as Plague floated away, accompanied by a stifled giggle from Ladybug. You realize you missed your opportunity to transform so we could talk without a towel over your face, Ladybug said. We both know I don't care much for secret identities. And yet... You haven't removed the towel. I'll respect your wishes, my lady. You look ridiculous. He laughed. Will you stay with me? Yeah. You scared me half to death, you know. The doctor says you can leave tonight, so I'll be here until then if you want. You know, albeit an Akuma comes or something. Yeah those rotten Akuma. He knew she could see his smile. He squeezed her hand three times before asking her to get camembert so he could transform. Are you sure you're feeling okay? She asked. Yeah. I thought I burned my hand for a moment there, but I was still wearing the suit, so I'm fine. What happened anyway? I slipped Turns out cats don't always land on their feet, especially with water. He felt her jab his shoulder. You'll joke about this? Sometimes all I can do is laugh, you know? Fair. It's one of the things I love about you. Love. Another jab, but softer than the last. You know what I mean. Your tease, LB. And you're a flirt, Tomcat. How about we finish that book from yesterday? Yeah, I'd like that. And so, wearing their masks in a room made their own by only a hospital curtain, Cat Noir and Ladybug spent the day together. It was comforting. It was happy. And most of all, it was home. Cat knew he was home. Thank you so much for listening. Part 29 is on its way. In the meantime, you can check out these other videos for more fanfiction. I'll catch you next time. <laughs>